You think you know me. Boom shrub, show my poem to. Well, Natsuki, immediately. Because I kind of feel bad for Natsuki. Because I haven't actually spent that much time with her, so. Let's see, hiya. Oh, hey, Lopsa. I'm glad to see she's in a good mood. I'm tempted to ask how she's holding up, but she'll, she'd probably punch me again. You know, today might be the last day we, that we share poems. So yours better be the best one yet. Ha, huh, you say like you were expecting not to be. I am the master after all. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah, to spell my con con confidence, you can read mine first. The end. I'm almost at the end, yet I can't shake this smile. As her glossy eyes see me just for a while. A summer's warmth, hot on her cheeks, warmth I didn't know I was chasing for so many weeks. What once was a fantasy has now become real, a quiet peace that we can both feel. But I can't help but notice my path's at its end, and yet I'm willing to cross the line. Because I know that, uh, that as I descend, her light can continue to shine. Ugh. That's a good sign. Do all your poems have to be so depressing? I would blame it on Yuri, but even your first one was like this. <laughs> huh? I'm flattered that you still remember my first work. I had no idea it led... It had left such an impact. Yeah, right, in your dreams. You were the one practically kissing the ground that I walked on after reading my first poem. I guess you got me on that. I'm afraid you made up worshipping me after reading my next one. I'll try to show some restraint. No promises, though. Oh, it's the beat one. Now, I'm not... Can't, I can't actually remember what poems we got. Did I go for Sayori the first time when I played this? I can't remember. So we might have seen this. What did we? Ah. I'm trying to recall back to the original game that I did. I went for... I think I went for Sayori the first on that plate, I went for Sayori, which means I would have seen the Peach poems for both Natsuki and Yuri, so... I think we've seen this already, so... Hmm, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that this isn't a lovey-dovey one from before. That said, it's still a pretty good poem. So how does this work? Huh? Well, I've never worshipped someone before, so I'm not exactly sure how... I'm not exactly sure about the process. Am I supposed to get on my knees and bow, or... <laughs> yeah, I should have known. Seriously though, this poem was really good. It will be kind of a bummer if we stop sharing them next week. We could just ask Moira to keep doing it. I doubt she said no. You're right about that. She seems to enjoy it quite a bit as well. Plus, it would give you time to write poems that aren't so damn depressing. Eh. As I back up and begin to leave, Manatsuki stops me. Eh, yeah, Lopsa, last one thing. <clears throat> if I tell, if you tell anyone I cried on you like that, I'll break every bone in your body. Okay, right, I'll keep that in mind. Yuri. Hey, Yuri. Hello again. I look forward to seeing what you have written for today. Thanks, but before we share, I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Hmm? Sorry for what? I uh, kind of told Natsuki about what we talked about yesterday. Oh, about that. You don't have to worry about it, Lopsa. She told me she already knew about my habit. May sound odd, but I'm kind of relieved that she knows now. 
Glad to hear you're okay with it. I would have felt bad if I had put you in a position you were uncomfortable with. It means a lot to me that you care so much. Well, what can I say? I'm a gentleman after all. Find must smile and curious as I say this. <laughs> well then, who should share first? Here, I'll take a shot at it. For my poem, your tour. Clarity. The mirror no longer shows me, but a portrait of my past. When time pa when time passing once led to a brighter future, now serves as little more than an agonizing descent. Inside that once served as a path to atonement, now shows only futility and domination. Where death was once a bitter end to my journey, is now a luxury I can only desire. To save others from the wrath of, of a cruel world, one must relinquish their essence to the void and be forever forgotten. Now this is... I don't have to guess this time whether you, you really like my poem or not. I guess practice makes perfect. I'll admit that after reading your first one, I thought it was just a stroke of luck. So sorry about that. It's not probably I was it out something similar. But after reading this one, the dread, the loss, the self-sacrifice. Damn. The more she talks about it, the more it sounds like a nightmare. Looks like I might have some demons that need exercising too. Make me regret not coming to the club to see what I what you wrote yesterday. I wouldn't worry about that too much if I were you. The one that I wrote yesterday was different, to put it lightly. I'm sure it was still good. Uh, you gave me too much credit. After all, I thought you were supposed to be the master poet around here. I wouldn't say that. Amazing writing skills and modesty to match it. Are you sure that you are not just saying these things to be nice? Of course not, I really do. <laughs> Yuri catches her being baited for the second time since I've met her. I really do enjoy your writing, you know. Are you sure? I'm still a little unclear on where you stand on that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see the pro progress that Yuri has made in being able to understand when someone is joking. Actually, now that you mention it, maybe I've been jumping to conclusions. No, is that so? Well, it looks like these feelings of mine are gonna remain broken after all. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Just trying to say something. Ah. <clears throat> Yuri's innocence really is something that should be preserved in, in a museum. Don't worry, I knew that you were joking. Oh, I see. I think I might need to work on it a bit more. You're gonna ha have to if you even ever plan to reclaim it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, and I guess I should probably read your poem at some point too, huh? Alright, here you go. It's the beach one again. The way that the beach is kind of an I also thought about I really like it, seeing your normal style branch out to topics like this is really interesting. You really think so? Yeah, it's a surprise. It's a surprise to be sure. But I welcome one. Yuri has no clue why I'm smiling so hard right now. I'm glad to hear that. It was actually Natsuki's idea though. She brought it up when we were eating dinner last night. And I admit that it was kind of pleasant to write about a topic that I don't usually touch on. We'll keep up the good work. If we continue sharing points like this next week, or even if we don't, I'm excited to see what else you write. Thank you. And finally, finally, finally. Hi, Lopsa. Hey, Monica. It's clear that something is bothering her, and I have a pretty good idea of what it is. But what can I do about it? I already told her I would be her friend and talk to her whenever she wants. It's 
it's not like I can break up with Sayori just to make her feel better. Um, Monica? Sorry, I'm fine. I was just thinking about something, that's all. Right. Well, here, I think this one turned out pretty good. Curtains close. I simply exist in a void with darkness as my soul is. As all sensations have long since been forgotten. As I continue to drift, I feel something foreign. A warmth of another. The warmth of another. The touch of someone once familiar. As I open my eyes, I see again. I once again see light. I see her smiling and feel her shine. Even though the binds are gone, I, long, I no longer see outside. In its place, I, only, I see only hope. Hope that the, this speck of dust may once again have purpose. Yet even though the light continues to shine, I can still only hear a single tune. The soundtrack to my life. Slowly coming to a close. She read my poem. I hope she says true to what this, sh what she said about yesterday. At least Sayor isn't here to see her do anything that, anything that could be misconcured. Opsa. Sigh. I'll be right back. Before I can stop her, Monica walks away and heads out of the class. Damn it! What was that about? Is she alright? I... Uh, yeah... She's fine? I'm just... Gonna go talk to her real quick. I make a break for the door as Yuri and Natsuki stand in a stupor. I step outside just in time to see Monica turn the corner. Shit. I lightly, I lightly sprint down the hall after her. What the hell am I even going to say to her? Around the corner, I immediately see Monica. I'm sorry. I thought I would be okay just talking to you. I'm not. How could I be? I've waited for so long for someone like you to show up. But even like this, you still chose her. Why? Why won't it end? I just... I don't want to do this anymore. I'm petrified as I watch Monica cry in front of me. I, I, I... I once again find myself embracing a crying girl. Stop. This isn't... Even though she says this, Monica puts up no resistance to my hug. I begin to panic a little as she cries into my shoulder. What am, what am I supposed to say to her? Did reading my point push her over the edge? If so, why? What did she mean by... What did she mean by she just wants it to end? I feel dizzy as my thoughts race through my head at a mile a minute. Monica, I'm... I'm speechless. Damn. I continue to hold her until her crying begins to settle down. She pulls away from me once she has regained some of her composure. How? How do you do it? I struggle to hear her she is practically whispering. How are you not scared after everything you've seen? What? I feel a sharp dropping pain in my head as she says this. Have you seen what happens to her? Aren't you scared that you can't really change things? She knows. She knows about me reliving this week. That's how she knew about Sayori's depression. But how? Did, did the same thing happen to her? Then why is she upset that I, I'm with Sayori? Why won't it end? My head continues to hurt as I try wrapping it around. Why? Why? Blah. My head continues to hurt as I try wrapping it around why Monica would say that. Has she done this more than once? 
But how? What the hell is going on? I feel like I'm about to have a mental breakdown. The sharp head pain continues as I'm on the verge of blacking out. What's going on? What is all this? Monica. Um, sorry. This is kind of new to, new to me. You're... You're the one from before. The one who asked if I fell trapped. How? What? I'm sorry about before. That outburst was something I wish I hadn't done. But I couldn't sit back and just watch this time. Now with the potential harm that this could cause Lopsa. Um, us. I'm not sure how long I can keep this up, so I'll try to explain quickly. I breathe Monica as, Moni, Monica as fast as I can about what I am and how I've helped Lopsa. There's a lot to go through, so I'll end up skipping a lot of details in favor of saving time. There's no doubt that she's more confused now than when I first spoke to her. I see... an obvious lie. But why? Why do you still try to change things? What if... Monica jokes on her words before she can get them out. Monica, I'll be honest with you. I'm terrified that what we're going to... what we're doing might not change anything. He won't admit it, but deep down, Lopsa is too. But this might be our only chance to fix things. I don't know if I'll, if I'll be able to survive another reset. I don't, I don't know if the game won't just reset anyways, once it reaches the end of the script. I could try the whole book of all the things that I don't know. But I do know one thing. There is no chance at all, no chance at all of anything being different if we just sit back and do nothing. I know that you hated being alone in this world, that it made you do things you aren't proud of. It's alright, I'm not mad at you for what you did. I can't say that it was right, but those those to say I sh wouldn't have done the same thing. But who's to say I wouldn't have done the same thing in your position? But you're not alone now, you don't have to feel that anymore. Even though it's not a romantic way, Lopsa still loves you. Seeing you sad or feeling hurt tears him up inside. He truly does care about you. She, she's not even... Think about it, Monica. Even though it's not in their scripts, the girl still managed to reply and behave differently around Lopsa. I'm not sure how it works, but I think he has the ability to give the other girls their own freedom. So while Sayori may not be sentient, her behavior is just as real as yours and mine. Monica has been convinced so I can feel my control begin to taper off. Listen player, if this doesn't work, I'm going to try to do something drastic. If it doesn't work, well, I'm glad I got, yeah. Please, please don't leave me alone anymore. Monica grabs my hand and squeezes tightly. I can't anymore. Not again. Her voice barely squeaks out between her sobs. Her, my panic begins to increase as I start to feel lightheaded. Monica, please just kiss Lopsa's chance. Your panther charm is some of the only things keeping him together right now. He's gone through so much heartache just so you would be happy. I... I want to. But how? I've already said. Don't worry, I can try and reverse that damage. But before I do, I need to know that you are really okay with this. <clears throat> I may not be able to pull a stunt like this a second time for quite a while. Please, Monica, decide faster. At this, this red... Alright. Could you tell him to maybe spend more time with me? Eh, <laughs> believe me, I don't think I'll, I'll have to. What are you gonna do? Well, if it works, this... Urk. 
I suddenly feel as though as the light light in the room decide to pierce my eyes. This this is pretty good, huh? I tried to hide the fact that my eyes were basically just toasted. And I master blah blah blah. Huh? Oh the poem. When I close down the poem as I wrote as if she forgot she was holding it. Did she throw did it throw her off that much? Wait, doesn't this all seem familiar? Even though I've been reliving the same week over again, this day she would this feels different. I like your poem a lot. We really improved over the course of these last few days. Thanks, Monica. It's all blah 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 blah. I am cut short as I feel something warm starting to round down my face. Oops, uh, oh no, not the nose again. My nose is bleeding. This shit again. It was cool the first time, but this is a bit. This is a bit much. Yeah, I have something for that. Monica makes her head over to the back as I just stand here. I'm making a break for it if she brings back back a tampon. Yeah, this should help. My relief, Monica realizes that she's only holding a few tissues. I feel a little embarrassed as I take them and begin dab dabbing at my nose. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's no problem. After I wouldn't want to kick in the bucket before reading my poem. For some reason I feel incredibly relieved as I hear her say this. Me? Kick the bucket? Please, my body is so healthy that there's so too much blood and has to get rid of it. If anything, it's a sign that my lifespan has increased. <laughs> I find myself smiling as I watch her giggle. I don't know what it is, but uh, there really is something special about this girl. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to wash my, go wash my hands. I, I look forward to reading your poem when I get back. I feel the odd sense of deja vu intensify as I walk towards the door. Weird. As Lopsa leaves the room, I feel increasingly torn about what just happened. I struggle to try and make sense of everything I've learned. But he doesn't know what all this is, but something inside him does. Not only that, but the one inside him can also alter the girl as well. To rewind for that long, it must have taken a pretty heavy toll on him. The wincing when it ended, and then his nose bleeding. I was scared as I think about how badly doing that must have hurt. Maybe I was right about Sayori and the others. I never thought about trying to change them without altering their code. I feel angry towards myself for being so blinded by my own jealousy. Sigh. As long as he's around, as long as I have someone to talk to. But every time we talk I just want him more. My heart begins to beat faster as I think about all the time I spent with him over the last few days. Am I... Am I really okay with it just being like that? I told him I was, but now that we're back to where we were... Is everything alright, Monica? We saw Lopsa leave and you looked like something was bothering you. Hey, don't tell me you hated your poem that much. Natsuki? Huh? Oh, don't worry, everything is fine. Lopsa's nose started bleeding, so I went to the bathroom to clean up. And I guess I was just pacing out. Nosebleed? Is it okay? Gross. Well, we're at a point the club here replaces us by bleeding everywhere. Not so key. Aren't you worried he's okay or not? <sighs> Should I be? He's always walking around like he's, he's so macho. Maybe this will open his eyes a bit. As Yuri and Natsu continue their argument, I can't help but wonder. Do they feel the same way as me? How will they react when they find out that he's with Sayori? Even though it feels like my world has been flipped upside down, I find myself smiling at these girls. I really do care about them. Even if they are just lines of code. I wish I could tell everyone how sorry I am. I really do want things to change. Even if... Even if I can't be with him.
As I re-enter the club room, I see all the girls huddled together. It's like Natsuki and Yuri are arguing while Monica just stares at them dreamingly. Man, I can't leave a bunch of you alone for one second without things falling off, can I? See, I told you he'd be fine. Don't tell me you're worried about me, were you, Natsuki? Yeah, right, in your dreams. I'm glad to see you are winning okay. Please, it'll take a lot more than a nosebleed to bring me down. Looks like it didn't bring your ego down either. <laughs> I scratch my neck as I fail to think of something clever to re retaliate with. Ah, I guess you got me on that. Hmm, what's this? Is the mighty lobs of fire accepting defeat? Man, you too, Yuri. Come on, Monica, help me out. Alright, girl, that's enough. You already know how sensitive you oh. Even though all the girls are laughing at my expense, I don't feel bad or embarrassed. In fact, seeing them all like this actually makes me really happy. Fine, fine, I'll let you have this one. But be warned, this means all that's I'll, I'll have to get you all back sometime soon. Hmm, a tough guy trading a bunch of girls. But I think our chances are still pretty good. I look forward to see what you can try and do. Assuming we don't intimidate you too much. Just try not to hurt yourself, will you? It would be a shame if anyone else had, had to miss a club meeting. Say what you want to now. But you're only winning because I'm unnumbered, so don't forget that. The girls continue to pick on me until Monica realizes what time it is. Okay, everyone. I want to discuss the plan for the festival while we still have some time left. I actually meant to bring it up yesterday, but I got distracted. It's pretty safe to say I was the distraction. I didn't even realize that she hadn't told them about the present. <sighs> Do we really have to do for something for the festival? It's not like we can put on any good few days. Embarrassing ourselves, concern of you. Well, don't worry so much, we'll be doing keeping it simple. Only mood digression. Yep, yep, yep. Great and all. Do for the event. I thought you heard about it already. We'll be performing. The both con bit confused, embarrassed. Bzz, bzz. As Monica begins to try and convince the girls, I feel my phone going off in my pocket. I very slightly zip out of the top to see who it is. Incoming call Sayori. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but this is this call is an emergency. You can keep explaining, Monica. I'll be keep quick. Before any of them have time to object, I make my way towards the door. 